Hi, this is Mike Milo, and I'm going to show you how to uh, set up an eye blink in Flash on a character. Um, basically, what I've got here is uh, I've got a character on one layer, and um, if I scroll through him a little bit, you can actually see that uh, there's a little bit of animation on his mouth. I'm going to do the same thing in Flash. Um, if I click inside this mouth, you'll see that there's individual uh, frames and there's art on each frame that is animated a little bit to make it look like uh, the mouth is actually moving. And so I'm going to do kind of the same thing in uh, the eye clip. Um, you notice I have obviously two eyes. They're both the same clip. So if I edit one of them, the other one is going to update as well. Anyway, so let's get started. I'm going to first combine all of this, all of these art assets. As I said, it's one layer, and um, if I move one of them, it moves away from it. What I want to do is not have that happen so that when I want to manipulate the entire character I can squash and stretch him and not have to make sure that everything registers correctly. So uh, I'm going to marquee over the, all of the artwork. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to scroll down to convert to symbol and I'm going to call this character Wolfie. Uh, make sure that you use a graphic clip and not a movie clip because movie clips won't render in QuickTime and it, you won't be able to export it to uh, a um, a video application, video editing app. All right, so now I've got one clip. I'm going to double click inside and in again. I've got all my layers on one uh, level, um, all of my assets on one layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click again on the artwork and I'm going to distribute to layers. And now I've got separate layers. Um, every all of my artwork is broken up into separate. Uh, layers now. So uh, let's, I'm going to scroll, zoom in a little bit. I'm going to double click on the uh, on the eye itself and you'll notice that inside I have three separate um, layers. I've got my outline, I've got my pupil underneath that, and I've got my eye whites underneath that. Uh, the reason that we do that is because the pupil, I can move around inside the um, in, inside the eye socket more or less and basically um, it feels like it's inside the eye uh, and also when we create the um, the uh, lids you'll notice that uh, the lids you want to go over the pupil itself otherwise you'll always have to keep resizing the pupil and making sure that it doesn't get cut off that it that it can be cut off by the lids. Anyway, so this is the easiest way to do that. Um, so we've got our first frame. I'm going to go to my second frame and I'm going to click uh, uh, F6 on my keyboard and create a new frame. And I'm going to go to my line tool and I'm going to bump up that line tool to maybe about three and a half uh, pixels. And I'm going to go about a third of the way down on the eye and uh, now I've got um, the top of my eye lid and I'm going to go and select my selection tool and if you notice when I get close to that line um, the, the, the selection tool changes a bit and it allows me to bend the line slightly so that I can kind of manipulate it a little bit better. So we've got that on the top. I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom and I'm going to let me move this up just a little bit more. And, uh, okay. So now I'm going to, uh, I need this color out here, and because I'm inside the clip, I can't access it. So I'm going to quickly go outside the, to the main stage, and I'm going to select the color that I need, go back inside the eye again, and I'm going to, um, now I'm going to color. I'm going to select my uh, paint bucket tool and I'm going to color these eyelids up oh, and flash. Yep, there we go. Excellent. So we've got the first ones. Uh, now let's go. We'll set another keyframe. And this time I'm going to select just the, uh, the line and I'm going to move it down. If you click once on a line, it will select an area, part of the line. Uh, 
that's not bisected and then if you double click it will select the entire line so now I'm going to move it down slightly maybe change it a little bit here yeah that's about right and um, then I'm going to fill in the line the the space again and I'm gonna do uh, same for the bottom here maybe make it a little wider so I'm gonna right click hit free transform and pull it out just a little bit and then I'm gonna so now I've got my oh and if I use um, the greater and less than keys on my keyboard or the the uh, comma and the period I can scroll through my animation so we've got our first frame second frame third frame so let's go for one more frame um, we go uh, F6 again and now we're gonna make the entire thing uh, the eye closed so let's get rid of this one because we don't need this one anymore and let's uh, change the perspective a little bit of the tool uh, Flash for some reason likes to add little bits and pieces of lines so you can select them individually and just delete them with the backspace or the delete key and um, so now we're gonna select the paint bucket tool fill that in and now we've got an eye that basically blinks I like to make sure that the uh, that the last frame is the same as the first frame so that I can get a nice full blink uh, so I'm going to right click on that first frame again I'm going to uh, copy frames then I'm going to go to my last frame and I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste frames and now what I've got is basically an eye blink um, I also like to make sure that there's at least two frames of, uh, of the eye closed it, it, otherwise it doesn't register well so what you can do is select the last key and hit F5 which will create another frame but not another keyframe and now I've got two frames oh wait no nope. I've got to slide this over and now I've got my eye blink and so if we go back out on the stage now I've got my character um, he has his eye blinks but you won't actually be able to see them until you set the frame range for that is at least as long as what the clip has as a frame range so we're gonna select uh, the 10th frame hit F5 and now you'll see that my character animates and he blinks his eyes now what can I do that you say well I'll show you flash has this ability that um, lets you if I select the eye you can see down at the bottom on the uh, properties uh, toolbar that I have a choice to loop, play once, or single frame. If I select play once, now you'll notice that it plays through once and then stops. Right? But the other eye doesn't do that. If I select single frame, now it won't move, but the other eye does because the other one's still looping. So let's set them both to single frame, and then we go to frame five, or yeah, five, and uh, select them hit F6 and then now we'll go from single frame to play once and now he will blink on that frame and now we're done and I could do the same thing with the mouth I can have him single frame and now he won't move and then I say well I want him to open his mouth on frame 4 and uh, well, of course it helps if you do it on the mouth key there we go and um, now I'll play once and so now on frame four now he's gonna move his mouth so that's great and that's basically how you set up an eye but now as I'm doing this I can also manipulate this character which is really nice and rotate him and it still does that I can squash him and he still moves his eyes and mouth and that's really where the power of flash comes in and that you can manipulate the character have fr have keyframes or layers and uh, timelines inside timelines inside timelines which allows you to really get uh, a, a lot of um, animation uh, out of flash and that's it